so how has being in Underbelly, the first series, actually affected you? <laughs> um, oh, it certainly made me a lot more recognisable. I just got um, tackled, actually, by someone in the street just then. He was drunk. He stunk <laughs> of beer and cigarettes. He's like, Carl, oh, come and have a beer. I was like, no. <laughs> that has got to be annoying. Yeah, it was really annoying. I, you know, he grabbed me. I, I was a bit scared. <laughs> I think I'll just broke your chair. <laughs> uh, look, it's still nice to be recognised in, in the sense that they like the show and they like what I did. So... <laughs> <laughs> this chair, I'm so sorry. Did you know that Underbelly was going to be such a huge success when you first got the part? We knew it was really good, but I don't think we realised it would be so huge. Yeah, I don't think we realised it would be received so well. People like True Stories, I think that's one of the reasons why it was so successful is especially the Victorians, they just, you know, it, it meant so much to them. They grew up with it on their front doorstep. I mean, the rights now have been sold to America. Have you heard about that? Right. And so they're actually looking at doing a series similar to that in America. What do you think of that? Um, well, I, I think that's great. That's fantastic. I wonder if there's a job for me there. <laughs> um, I mean, it's in a, in a way, it's just it's a true story, basically, isn't that what they do? It's a franchise, you know. The second series was set in Sydney in the seventies, and, and the third series set in Sydney, Sydney in the late nineties, and, and now. And so, I guess they would have to do true stories about American crime. So, I don't know what's that original and 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 you know groundbreaking about it. And um, there's been stuff done like that before, but you know, if if that's that's great for screen time, that's awesome. With your research on Carl then, how did you go about it? Just watch lots of footage, read lots of articles? Or? Yeah, just read read a couple of good books. Um, Big Shots was a really good one. And uh, the Lead Belly series, which was before before it became Underbelly. Um, and <laughs> uh, yeah, and just watched a lot of footage, talked to a lot of people, talked to uh, all the detectives from the Piranha Task Force that had spent a lot of time with him over the years. and met some of his friends and chatted to them and um, yeah and just yeah listened listened to samples of his voice and video and and in the end I, I played a character that was written on a piece of paper I didn't I didn't you know I, I that's that's what I had to work with and that's what we made we made a show it's not real I mean it's real it's based on truth but nothing's real so did you ever get any response from Carl Williams with how you played his character no, no. I mean, I read some stuff that he thought I played him like a retard or something, but <laughs> that's fine. I, I I played a character that was written on a piece of paper and that's the way it was designed and, and um, directed and performed. So that's the Carl Williams, the underbelly Carl Williams. So it must be really hard for you to talk about Carl Lewis. Carl Lewis? <laughs> well, I know. I mean, he came second and then ended up getting gold because Ben Johnson took... And um, you wanted gold. gold. And then Carl Lewis ended up getting caught. So he lost his gold. Whoever came third got gold medal like 10 years later. All right, I'm sorry, Carl Williams. It must be hard to talk about Carl Williams all the time. Oh, look, it gets a little tired. It, it was three years ago. I've done, I've, I've done, three, I've done four films since then and two TV series and, and um, a whole bunch of other uh, uh, play and some other stuff, so... Yeah, but, you know, you've got to accept it because it was uh, such a success. That's what people know you as and they're the questions they're interested in. You tend to go for projects that are based on real stories, you know, Balibo, Underbelly and Beneath Hill 60. Is that something that you look for in a project, something that's based on a real story? Look, I'm finding that the best stories to tell are the true ones, stuff that's that are based on reality because I think there's something about real life that we can't, imagine ourselves or something just something bizarre about real life that's just so bizarre that you could never have thought about it yourself so I, I think that's what makes them really interesting and fascinating so yeah it's a great thing but I'm not not adamant about playing real people but it's just turned out that way that I've gotten a lot of jobs that are based on true events and and they've been really interesting stories. So you're getting offered some really interesting things now, like presenting at the Arias. Is presenting something you'd like to pursue more? You've got to be careful. There's fears that you can become too much of a personality and then you're not seen as a, an actor anymore. And so you've got to be careful about that. But, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'd love to do those things a bit more. 
So I guess it follows that big question, what is it like to be a celebrity in Australia then? Oh, I don't know. It's just like you just you get on with it and, and you, you experience it as it happens and then you get used to it and then you keep living your life. <laughs> so what are you working on at the moment? I'm just getting ready to head over to LA and say g'day in LA. <laughs> um, I've never been there before, so, you know, start um, getting some representation and um, having meetings and seeing what's out there for me. I just auditioned for Law and Order LA. Lola, they're calling it, you know, L, Law and Order, LA, Lola. Um, so that'd be kind of cool. I just want to keep playing different characters and, and of course, there's just so much opportunity over there with funding. <laughs> there's great budgets, so there's lots of, you know, really great directors and great, just, you know, ex amazing things happening, so.